Well, that's what's the crack. My name is Orgy Runner, and welcome back to Life of Strange True Colors. Right, it's been a while. It's been a while in deadly do because I was struck down with COVID. Then shortly after that, literally two or three weeks after that, I came down with a chest infection. So I got hit with a double whammy. It also left me a lot of time to think. Like, I really don't want to continue I on with this series after this part because... It's too long, it really drags, and it's something I would finish off in my own time because I've been catching up with my game catalog outside of YouTube, and it just got me thinking, you know, unless I'm really, really super into it, I don't think I'll continue on with it, which is something I really try and avoid, to be honest, because I made a commitment to myself that I wouldn't leave a game unfinished. But I think for this, I might make the exception just because Dead Space is coming out within a matter of days, and I really want to play through that, and I know it's going to be short enough compared to this. So, uh, yeah. That's that, and there's also the matter of the fact that I don't think long-form content is much suited to my channel just yet. I'd much rather keep it short form, not in the terms of like YouTube shorts, but I think like if I make 20, 25 minute videos, I think they're good enough. But if I were to do with longer games, there'd be multiple, multiple parts. Because one thing I found with this was the editing process took ages and ages. And I just didn't really have it in me to to edit and render a video that's about nearly an hour and a half long. And anyway, speaking of which, I should just get into this. Okay, so there's a bit of a zombie. What, what, what's this? How is zombie the least creepy thing out here? No, it's the least creepy thing. What about this pneumatic pick? You don't realize until you're up close, but mining equipment is super murdery. Ah, yes, I'm definitely getting some My Bloody Valentine vibes up here. Okay, so we just open this gate because we have to find that little Timmy. Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. Julie McNamara is a fucking skank. Ugh. Oh no, I said the F word. He said the F word. Demonetize him. Uh, you can't demonetize what's not monetized. So I can say whatever I want. Hmm, maybe we can just go in the front door. Cool. A murder barn. Is it a murder barn, though? Is it really? But where am I supposed to be going? And that is the question. Ah. The old mine entrance. Ooh, helmet. Maybe I should take it's this. Pretty beaten up. Wonder what happened to it. I wonder what didn't happen to it. Okay, Brother Gabe, you lead the way. Imagine being trapped down there. Or actually, don't. Ah, uh, you might get decayed such a claustrophobes. Uh, can I, can I talk to you? Can I engage? Oh, there's haptic feedback for this. That's cool. Mine, maybe I should check out the entrance. Oh, investigate. There we go. Ah. What happened ah. Here? Okay. Massive cave-in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site. Basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. Oh, this is what he was doing Same his doodles. Logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Yeah, he must have. He's got a good eye. Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion... Then he must have snuck in a different way. Ah, okay, makes sense. There should be a big dragon skeleton lying around somewhere. Nothing yes, obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. 
Sounds like the mind to me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. Oh. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look then. Okay, lead away, okay. Shaggy. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. There's not really a lot to compare here. Oh, if maybe this thing looks like a dragon skeleton or dragon spine, possibly. Okay, let's take out the comic. Or let's just talk to brother Gabe. Any luck? Been a minute since I tried to break a lock. I've lost my edge. <laughs> so, what, what you told me before. If he were out here and like feeling something, could you use it to find him? Uh, Good question. You have to be feeling it like a lot. Like really strong. Even then, I don't know. It was worth a shot. Wait, you're gonna be useless? Don't think I like that. Okay, Ryan, what about you? Got any clues? Let me know if you find anything, yeah? Sure, why not? Okay, minecart. Maybe I can use this somehow? I don't computer. see Fainal riding around in any minecarts. Kind of a missed opportunity. Make computer. I think I'm looking for something closer to that big building. Yes. I think Fainal went a different way. Hmm. Okay, 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 fine, fine. We just run around and investigate. That's the only thing we can do. Too bad nothing like this is in the comics. Thanor could have just plowed through the entrance. Maybe. Let's look at the comic again. That might give us a better clue. Wait, blood. That might be oil, I think. around here or wetness unless there's a dead guard in that barrel I don't think this is right well, that's just you one I mean, there's not a lot to go by here or maybe I'm just slow which is a very real possibility Doubt it. Nothing like this in the comic. Thank God. My instincts say no, but I feel like I'm close. No, our powers ain't doing squat. Oh. So if the zombie is here, then. From through here. Oh, there's a hidden entrance somewhere. If Ethan really followed the path in his comic, finding him just became a lot more doable. On, hold on, hold on. Uh, okay, maybe not. Maybe he slipped past the open gate. 
Yeah, looks like it. I know I'm definitely onto something now. Wait, so did Ethan? Oh man. Yeah, he slipped through here. Scraggy little runt. I think there's like a side door back there. I don't know. I guess there might be. Give me a hand. Ah, it opens outwards. I thought it was one of them slidey doors. Goes to show you how much you know about doors. Not a lot. You figured that out from a comic book. I'm gonna try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Okay, now this part should Ethan be fairly straightforward. How did he get out? What? Uh, red one. Go with red. It's always red. Wait, red is dead. No, oh, okay, we're still alive. Dang. Back to the drawing board. So much stuff just left behind. Ah, yes, very wasteful. I'm not confident this is gonna work. Ah. Ooh, free hugs. Yeah, it was worth a shot, I guess. Ethan must have passed through some other way. Let me see what I can figure out. Yeah, so you probably went up here. This makes sense. It said something about him crawling on a dragon spine or something. Yeah. Then I would have to go down a level, I think, or do you just jump from here and grab on? Yeah, here. Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs. Okay, yeah, what whatever, bro. Ethan Come out, come out, wherever you are. Not in the comic. No, that window wasn't in the comic either. Ah, yes, here. Wait, how the hell would he get up there? Unless I'm missing something. Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. Think I'll find another way through. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Here to use him. Maybe there's some way to open the door. Yeah, chain hoist. This should do it. Heads up. You figured out the door. Yeah. Turns out you gotta open it. Who knew?
God, I like the back and forth chit chat in this. Pity it's the last episode. Well, last episode I'll play on my YouTube channel because, I, and like you said, I want to enjoy this game in my own time. Because what I also want to play through at some point, and I think I've made up my mind on it, is the Walking Dead series. You know, Telltale's The Walking Dead. It's been a game I wanted to play for ages because there's so much hype about what it. took you so long? Oh, there you are. You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Where to next, Alex? Yeah, that seems about right. Weaken, buddy, if you're in here, you're in a hell of a lot of trouble. Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. We can just... There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. And okay, that's time to get our skates on, then. Lord knows that boy is in a hell of a lot of trouble. Hell of trouble. We close? I think so. Ethan! 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 Watch this now, Betty's fallen down somewhere. Oh, that's where he is. Ethan! Ethan? That's bad. You okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. Don't! Don't, 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 don't! His beard is so strong. If I get near it... It's no good. We're too heavy. Uh-oh. Shit. It's falling on me now, isn't it? What about me? Alex. Uh, are you sure? Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Nope. Awesome. Show me. Oh, I don't like that look. You okay? Ah, uh, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. Yeah, I'm alright. I'm alright with plummeting to my death. Are you sure? It's okay if you're not. No, I'm good. You know, I actually believe you when you say that. Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady, steady is fast. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Okay, I'm ready. Ooh, 
Ooh, I would not like to be anything. in that position. I'm coming. You got this, Alex. Go back. You'll get hurt. Oh, no, without you, buddy. I'm not going back without you. You're stuck with me until we're both safe. Almost there. Slow and steady. What the hell are you even doing out here, dude? Just a little further. Hey, Ethan. I'm here to help, okay? No! Get away! Shit. It's too much. I have to get him to chill out. <sighs> Ethan, I need you to calm down. Can you breathe for me? I should never have come out here. I was so stupid. Okay, hey, focus. Talk to me. You want to tell me how you got out here? Yeah, it seems like a good story. Across to the other side. The log fell. That's fine. That's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. Well, Gabe is our anchor. That's a very good Gabe's option. Gabe's got us. We're not gonna fall. He's got the other end of the rope. No, I can't move if I move. You're not gonna fall, buddy. It doesn't matter. He's not making any sense. I need him to calm down. We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to. It'll see me. If I move, it'll see me. What's gonna see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. Oh, fuck. I can't believe this is happening. Okay, let's try and do some mind reading, shall we? This. Claws, or claw marks. I thought I could hurt the monster, but it's time to be neat. I'm not just feeling what Ethan feels. I'm seeing the world like he sees it. I brought all this stuff. None of it will save me. Okay, so he's got an overactive imagination. That's basically what it is. Wouldn't be afraid, but he's just a story. This is real. Okay. He's not afraid of the fall. He's afraid of. Oh, shit. Can't let it see me. Can't let it see me. It can't be real. Oh, but it looks pretty fucking real. Hey. Hey, I see it too, Ethan. The monster? I see it too. And I'm just as scared as you are. But Ethan, we're safe. You know why? Because we have the power of friendship. It can't see me. Bangle of vanishing? Just like Knife Warden. I thought that was just a story. Hell, some stories are true. Like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, all right? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. I want dude to snap out of it. You can do it.
Oh yeah. There we go. Down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. Uh, nothing to be scared of, buddy. To be of. You're good. I got you. But what if you let go? Shit. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'd, I'd, I'd die before I let go of you. Do you think the log will break? Don't worry. I got all the way across before, remember? It can still break! Uh, unless you're 20 pounds connected. heavier than before. I need to keep him calm. Almost there, almost there. One itty bitty step at a time. Jeez, this is really dragging. Whoa, whoa. There. That's it. Come on. There you go. I got you. Whew. Oh, what a rush. <laughs> I thought that wasn't supposed to happen. I don't know what to make of that. I mean, look, if you fell into the river, you should be okay, technically. Maybe. Okay, you know what? This was a short enough chapter. Didn't expect it to be this short. Didn't expect it uh, to be, yeah, you know. This gripping as well. Holy shit. Okay, view friend status. Okay, we've got a friend status now. So Alex told Gabe about Ethan's plan. Alex stayed out of Mac and Roddy's fight. So we've still got all, all these stats, just like previous Life is Strange games. So that's a very welcoming feature to, to see that they've kept on to it. Okay, Alex hugged Gabe, 95% of PS5 players at that. Alex and Five Roddy to show off in her interview. Okay, that was kind of a bad decision. Alex put sunglasses on the gnome, 81% of people did that. Very cool, Alex enjoyed a song in the record store. 
Uh, yeah, there, there's a lot of things that I did and didn't do, but I think I think the one thing that I might have missed out on, or well, almost missed out on, was that gnome. That was cool. A cool little um, not Easter egg, but a little bit of fluff to add add on. Okay, so chapter two, lanterns. I'll just see what the intro is like for this chapter, just to, to get a grip on it. Oh no! I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before, until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions. <laughs> Or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. Got them all written down on a sheet of paper. The first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. What? Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people. I only remember him. And then he said, I know. That's why the K is silent. Then <laughs> uh, the fifth time. He cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. All I want to say about Gabe is, he came into this bar as a stranger, but he left at his family. Guess that's that then. What happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now- That's it. Now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. Uh... Oh my god, decision, decision. Guys, we, we don't know. We don't, we don't know. Ah, damn it. He could, he could have done it. 
he could have done it with malintent we don't know but uh, yeah. you know what I like drama I'll say he's right he's right I was there when Gabe made the call I'd like to hear what you have to say about that, Mac. I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about that we review the sequence of events? Hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with... Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying. Pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life. Look, I told you there was no call to miss. And maybe the call got dropped. Oh, shit. I mean, it's not like... It's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. Watch your mouth, Mac. Right, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time. Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure. I'm sorry, uh, it's not, I'm just trying. Look, she's right, she's, she's right, it's not time or place, come on, chill out. Although that's pretty hard to do. I'm not the one who killed him. Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me interrupt. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. He cut the rope because... <laughs> Jesus, this is terrible. I mean, it was a split decision. It was... It was either Gabe dies Alex? or they all die. Hey. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? Eh, I will be. Not really. But I... I will be. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you... Um... It's messy, but... Do you want to come in? Sure. Do you play guitar? Yeah. It was a gift from Gaby Wabey. Sort of. It was a gift from Gabe. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Silly wiped out. That 
was hilarious. Uh, awkward small talk. You gotta love it. Dave really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Maybe we still can. We took this a year ago. We... No way. I can't. What? We actually kept it. Calm down, Alex. You're fine. You're fine. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it there. Now, I know I said at the start I'm... I wouldn't continue this series, but it's just piqued my interest again. There is going to be a bit of a lull because I will be playing through Dead Space Remake when it comes out in a few days' time. Well, once I get once I get a copy and once I have a few days off work again. I tend to be getting days off here, there, everywhere because it seems to be a very quiet period at the moment. Because Christmas has died down, so the sales are sort of on a bit of a slump. We have our quiet days, which is, which is good, to be honest, well, good for me. In a sense, kind of, maybe, but it also means my hours have been cut, but it also gives me more time to focus on this. So, uh, yeah, disregard what I said at the start, if you're still here watching this, I still might continue it, but when I edit my videos, I sort of multitask. I go between playing Overwatch and editing. I know it's not the best practice, but like when I'm editing videos that are over an hour long, it just seems like such a freaking drag. So, I don't know, I'll, I'll do a bit of both, uh, short form and long form content. I just have to experiment a bit because I know I did make a little bit of a leap and a bound with the shorts. I did get a few extra subscribers through doing little funny moments that were a few seconds long. And I think I did capitalize on that a small bit, so it's, it's kind of good. Shorts are, shorts are um, practically a godsend, but when used and done in the right way, I mean, you do want to have a channel that's completely dedicated to shorts, but you also want to have a bit of variety at the same time. I don't want to make every video short, or I don't want to make or have every long form piece of content have a short to coincide with it, or to uh, what's the word I'm looking for to complement it. So I only pick out like little funny bits here and there. Like I, I did one or two shorts with the Dead Space series. I did one short with the whole gnome scene for Life is Strange, and it was uh, pr pretty good. I got got a few, a few decent views. I I earned one or extra two, or one or two extra subscribers, and that 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 was great. Really did put me on on a bit of a high. But like I said, then when COVID struck me, it really put me in it put me in a very bad place health health wise and I was unable to even barely play games I, I was that sick into the course of, with my chest infection but I, <laughs> that I just literally recovered from a little over a week ago because that was worse than COVID because literally a week or two after fully recovering from COVID bang chest infection I'm like fuck and even at that I was still editing the last part of Life is Strange 
the part two. So I was nearly a month editing that because I was extremely sick. And like I said, I was when I was recovering, I was still playing a small bit of Overwatch here and there. So I don't have the best work ethic when it comes to long form content. That's why I kind of want to move away from it. And I kind of don't at the same time. It's a bit of a love hate relationship I have with it. Oh, okay, but either way, enough chitter chatter for me, guys. Don't to do if you did enjoy this video by some freaking miracle. Be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, come favorite chair, and of course, like always, I'll see you in the next one. So, until next time, see ya.